It doesn't matter whether the guy is like uh, sort of commented in the group or if it's sideways on bar fly, it makes no odds, right? So it doesn't matter if he tries to pull me back with one bar fly, right? It's even more ridiculous, yeah, yeah. right? Or two, right? So all I'm really doing is I'm, ex I'm doing a leg extension. I don't mean I'm extending my leg, I mean I'm doing like an exercise leg extension. So this is what we've been doing all the way through. So on the butterfly guard, he's trying to pull me. And I'm leg extended. So I'm pushing like I'm making the floor. Imagine that's a weight pad there. And I'm trying to drive my legs through the floor. So if he wraps me in the clothes guard now. Right away. Yeah. So so if he wraps me, if he if he wraps me in the clothes guard, I tell my pelvis, but also as he pulls, I push my legs into the ground. Right? There's no way. Oh, oh. His, his legs are popping on the, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually doing a leg extension into the ground with both my legs. So I'm not just pelvic tilting. As I feel him go to pull me, as he as he goes to pull, I'm just pushing, I'm making these contract here, and I'm just pushing into the ground with my legs. Yeah. So I think it's like it's everywhere. It's, it's mad. It's in butterfly, on your butterfly top, it's closed guard, you're just pushing, you're just pushing your legs. I'm not just pelvic tilting, that would be, but I'm pushing in. And it, to me, it's like, it, it, it feels very, very hard to me. Yeah, so the, I pelvic tilt, but then I push as well. So anytime I feel you go push, I just push these in. It's a tiny, subtle movement, you'll never see it, but, Pelvic tilt sort of makes that happen. It, it, it kind of makes yeah, it, like it, it happen. But yeah. obviously, when the guys make you, you're a little bit further forward, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can still create an awful lot of resistance. So, even if the guy gets me going, I can still, by pushing right into my. Uh, it's almost like you're pushing here and, and kind of. If your shins touch, I'm pretty unflexible, but if your shins touch, they'll push all the way through. You'll be almost impossible to move. So, it's there all the way through it. So just um, just grab a body, nice and easy, and just have one of you just try and pull in using the legs, using whatever, build it up. But you just want, it's not just the pelvis, but you push in here, you'll feel, you know, pushing right into these. Yeah. <laughs> Some pelvic tilting, so now pull me. Right, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. now I go Right. 
So that's pretty easy. So the next one would be does the pelvic tilt. Right? Very, very hard for me to move in, but once I get over that initial, I can again, these legs are alive. And now he does a leg extension into the ground. Even if forward a bit more, he's like, yeah, so you've got less, a little bit less pelvic tilt, but extending into the ground with the legs. And just bring your knees up. If this happens, just bring your knees up and just do it again, now leg extend. So every time you feel me get a lift, you leg extend. Take your hands off your mat, no. I just, I just, it's an absolute nightmare. And it, it doesn't matter if the guy's sideways on. But Steve said, oh, you don't want to be square. It makes a lot. So you try to lift it down one way. Yeah. <laughs> Which just makes it actually harder. It's actually way, way harder. That's why they elevate the two, because they're using both legs. They're basically doing a leg extension so you're on the back of one guard. On the closed guard, it's more like a hamstring pull, because they're pulling you in. Uh, with the legs, but like, I just, when you hear it, you're just trying to lift it. You know, you're almost in like one rep max, and it's just leg extended. So just, just in the close guard now, sort of warm up, stick your movement, play around with just the pelvic tilt, see how that